Hi, Gary Bartz here. I'd like to talk about um, egos. Music is, is a very spiritual thing initially, I think. I think the first, um, during my historical research, <laughs> uh, some of the first people looked on as ministers and reverends and holy people were musicians because music was like magic. People wondered, how do they do that? You know, how do they put these notes together and we really like it and want to sing it? And you can't really have or bring too much ego to music. And I see nowadays a lot of younger musicians and, and even older musicians, it's all about them. You know, the music uh, takes a back seat sometimes for some histrionics that they want to do when it might not be called for at that time. If you have that in your arsenal, it, you should know, be disciplined enough to know when to use it and not have to use it every time. I know I hear a lot of people say, oh, I'm gonna get house tonight. Well, that's always nice, but I mean, if you're a great musician, you can get house anytime, so why get it every time? You know, you can explore other things in music. I know I approach uh, each job as if, like an actor. I, I say, okay, what is my role in this band? Am I playing melodies? Am I playing solos? Am I, what am I doing? You know, am, am I the leader? Am I the straw boss? What, what's going on here? Um, so that's one of the first things that I do. And so sometimes your ego might, you might have to put your ego on the back burner because you might not get enough solos, for example. I've seen many musicians get mad. I didn't solo, you know, I didn't get no solos tonight, you know. But you played the heck out of what you played and it was just as important as anything anybody else does, but you let your ego get in the way. And when your ego gets in the way, I think it affects the music. Well, take, take Miles Davis, for, for instance. Um, his ego, and he had an ego, believe me, but when it comes to music, music humbles you. <laughs> so uh, the greatest uh, musicians I know were very humble and they knew how much they didn't know, <laughs> you know? I mean, this is like one lifetime is just not long enough. Miles, for example, if he didn't feel like he was playing his music properly, he wouldn't play because his ego said it could work two ways. could say, well, I don't want to embarrass myself, but he realized that he wasn't able to do what he wanted to do, so he would not play. Uh, a lot of times people would see him turn his back. He was actually directing the band and looking at guys and making eye motions and facial expressions, you know, telling them, kind of leading the band. So, um, but he actually liked that myth of him turning his back. You cannot have your ego override the music. The music is what's important, not you, not what you're doing, but the music is the most important. Be careful when you step on stage and think about, are you doing the best that you can for the music or are you doing the best you can for yourself? As a, it's a way to do both.